What's an insult that sounds like a compliment? I love what you're trying to do with your hair. This one made me laugh. I was doing a timed work skills test a month into a new job, and it took me forever so he let me do it again. It took just as long the second time and he said, well, at least you're consistent. My grandma always says people are good and kind when they get on her nerves. They think she's a sweet old lady, when she's really saying they're good for nothing and kinda stupid. I got it engraved on a mug for her. This thread has taught me that grandmas talk a lot of shit this is too good. I don't care what everybody else says, I think you're pretty cool. Used to have this regular come in, and they'd often say I don't care what the bathroom wall says about you, you're alright. To my friend, you have cooler friends than I do. I always tell my girlfriend I have better taste than her because I'm dating her while she's dating me. What a chump. At least you tried your best. This one is fine if you're telling it to a kid, but much more condescending to an adult. Friends and I do this thing where you add the word actually to an otherwise normal compliment in order to make it backhanded, hey you're actually pretty smart. With all due respect. When it's clear none is due. With all due respect, sir, you're a worthless fucking piece of shit, and your dad should have fucked your mom in the ass the night you were conceived, with all due respect. One of the guys I was dating told me you share your emotions and feelings quite often. I took it as I probably talk too much about things and shouldn't, but he told me that no it's a good thing, and it helps. Still made me think twice the next time I wanted to share things. You're pretty for a big girl. Classic chubby girl insult, but you have such a pretty face. In the words of the late Reverend Spooner, you are a shining wit. It's the most British insult I know. For the uninitiated, a spoonerism is where you swap the starting sounds of two words. So shining wit becomes. This book fills a much needed void. My favorite review of Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Slayer read, the best movie I have ever seen on the subject. My wife once said I just love your cute little way of living with total sincerity. That's actually really cute. In the line at Walmart there was an old lady and a man trying to figure out how much money they needed to pay, and when I said the amount, he told me that I was pretty smart for being a girl. Out of all the people I've met, you are definitely one of them. Out of all the posts I've laughed at this is one. Good for you. Said with the right amount of enthusiasm has very entertaining results as you watch their face change in realization after saying thanks. I bet you spent a lot of time thinking that one through. Implying whatever was said or done was of poor quality and bringing into question their intelligence as it took a while to think up a poor plan. I admire you, you don't let your confidence get in the way of your shortcomings. Seems like it worked better the other way around. If you are in the south, bless your heart. Not always, if you've had a terrible day and tell them why they sometimes say that and not in a demeaning way. You look so pretty I didn't even recognize you. My mom said that to me one day when I was leaving for high school. She totally didn't mean it to be an insult, but I felt that one. My mom once said your outfit is so nice today. But your face, can't forget that one. You'd look mighty pretty on a moonless night. My first boyfriend told me I was pretty in the dark. He was trying so hard to be sweet and romantic, and was so embarrassed when he realized what he said. Every good insult sounds like a compliment. True I always forget who said it, but tact is the ability to tell someone to go to hell and have them look forward to the trip. Any variation of comments like I love your confidence or worse, I wish I had your confidence, when a not-so-skinny girl posts a picture in a revealing outfit or a bikini. Even if you mean well it's so backhanded to me. You look so pretty with your makeup on. Like, a totally different person. I'm amazed you managed that. They think it's a compliment, while you're wondering how they are still breathing without a hourly reminder. Only times I've ever heard people say this to me was in honest shock. I think this is one of those that is highly tone, situation dependent. 
I once got you're gonna be really handsome once you get older from a cute chick. Still hurts. I don't think that's a true. Some people don't have the traditional features that might make them beautiful, but they have something else that makes them a little extra special. A little bit of magic in their features. Having you here is like leaving two good workers at home. You've lost weight, no I haven't, you just remember me as being fatter, heavier than I actually am. A man walks down the street in that hat, people know he's not afraid of anything.